Good morning. So, it is Sunday. It is relatively early for, well, for me at least on a Sunday. It's like 20 past 8 and I'm just about to get on the train because Josh, who plays Elwood in the Blues Brothers and is the director who you've met before, uh, Josh and I have uh, an interview on BBC Radio London today all about Blues Brothers. So, um, we're heading into town. I'm meeting him a little bit before and uh, we just want to make sure that we're there. Um, we have to have like our IDs and stuff. So I'm taking it that it's not just going to be like we're going to walk in and straight into like the studio or whatever. So we just want to make sure that we have loads of time. I think we're going to go for like a tea or a coffee before. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we're going to go <laughs> for a tea or a coffee before. As you can tell, I've not done a lot of talking this morning. Well, I've done zero talking until right now. So that's why. The mouth is just taking a bit of time to get going, but we're basically we're gonna go meet and then we're gonna go and do the, the interview. So it's very exciting. I have no idea what to expect. It's like 10 minutes of us talking about Blues Brothers, but they haven't said anything about what they're gonna ask or um yeah, so it'd be cool if there was like some sort of quiz um or something. Although I would get absolutely annihilated because Josh is Mr. Blues Brothers, but it would be fun anyway. So here's my train, we're gonna go and I will see you very soon. Let's make a cup of tea. <laughs> so Dave is on the radio this morning at 10.45. He's doing a BBC London radio interview um, for the Blues Brothers, which is so exciting. And I'm pretty sure I can get it on my phone. Um, sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice. It's just a little kettle up. <laughs> if you're wondering um, why I have makeup on, <laughs> I really love doing this thing when I'm at home, which is having a shower really early, washing my hair, putting on some makeup, and then just being in my pyjamas. These are actually really creased. I might put a dress on if it gets sunny if we're outside. But we're just going to have a potter fun, watch lots of Harry Potter, and I think we're going to have a Sunday lunch later. And yeah, it's just going to be such a nice day at home. If you didn't know me, you won't know that I just love being at home. It's like my favourite place to be. <laughs> so, it is a beautiful sunny day now. Beautiful. I'm with Josh. Beautiful day. And we are beautiful days. And, uh, and we're here at BBC Studios, which I'll show you in one second. And uh, yeah, we're just about to go in. Um, apparently we've already had a mention on the show. Twice, at least twice that uh, I listened to this. At video. least twice, which is cool. Once by name, which is, which is nice as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and actually someone that I know um, from like drama school was like, I listen to that show all the time. And like, um, oh, sorry. Just trying not to get knocked over. Um, was like, oh my god, I listen to that show all the time. I'm so excited. I was like, ah, that's cool. So, uh, anyway, let's go and get signed in. Dave's on the radio next. He's not. Yeah, he's coming on now. On what radio station? Uh, BBC London. <laughs> Any minute now. We're all uh, passed up. I have a horrendous picture of myself. Uh, and yeah, now we're going into the old. The, the peel wing. Green room times. So yeah, we're just waiting to go on. We're listening to the show. And uh, yeah, this is kind of exciting. I'd be, I'd be a little bit more excited slash more nervous if we were near Radio 2, but that's not done here. Radio 1's, I think, above us, but... Radio but you don't care about Radio 1. Yeah, Radio 2 is where my heart is. Who has very kindly left some vino in the studio, uh, which one of my guests is about to have a glass of. And I've even brought strawberries in, so it can be accompanied <laughs> by a perfect fruit. So it is, in fact, the breakfast of Sunday champions. Absolutely. Joshua Mumby. Yay! Wood Blues, good morning to you. Good morning, Nikki. Is How it, are you? Is, it is Mumby, not Mumby. <laughs> Where's Dave? Mumby. Yeah, Mumbe and David Christopher Brown. Yay! Jake Blues, 
Good morning. Thank Good you both morning. so much for coming in. Oh, what a pleasure. So, pleasure. Blues Brothers is returning to the West End. It is, and we're very excited. And it is a <laughs> summer special. It's at the Hippodrome. An extra song in the repertoire. Well, yeah, we were just talking about this outside. There's there's a few extra oh. in, the, in the repertoire. Yes. Oh, and it is running um, from the 18th of July to the 26th of August. So you've got a big old run there. What is the Hippodrome like to perform in, by the way? Well, you I, haven't done it yet. No, we haven't. No. <laughs> no have, yeah. but have you seen the stage? Have you seen what you're yes. working with? Yeah. yeah, no, it's a really exciting space. It's a, it's a beautiful venue. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a nice and intimate space, so um, the people the, the people that come and watch the show are really going to be involved in the show, and and they're going to really feel the music and be able to kind of get up on and dance and uh, and and really enjoy themselves. And even walking through the Hippodrome to get to the theatre, yeah. it's it's like an atmosphere unlike anything else, unlike yeah. any other time of. Chick and Elwood would, would approve, wouldn't they? Would they would love <laughs> it. completely. What's completely? And what's also really cool in terms of the Hippodrome is even now that uh, the guys in the bars are dressed up as the Blues Brothers. Brothers, they're doing a Blues Brothers were like menu related. Oh, yeah, really? They all got really together cool. and watched now, the movie together as a Hang staff. on, hang on. What is a Blues Brothers menu? Do you know what's on it yet? Well, apparently, uh, four fried chickens uh, and some dry white toast is going to be on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank Crack you. a femur from the 18th of July to the Saturday, the 26th of August, because the Blues Brothers summer special is at the Hippodrome. Um, Joshua Hornby and David Christopher. <laughs> Brown, Elwood and Jake respectively. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much you for teachers. coming in, both of you. The time is 10.58 and Pippa Sparks says your BBC Radio London Travel News. So I'm back home after the interview and that was so much fun. Um, I was incredibly nervous going into it, like e even like days before, but like as I was going in I could feel my heart like beating at my chest. It was crazy. Um, because, you know, it's the BBC and, like, Nikki Betty's a really well-respected DJ and being on her show is no joke. The person who was on before us was, like, a wine specialist. So we went in, the first thing that we got offered was, like, strawberries and wine at, like, 10.45 in the morning. Hilarious. Obviously, I don't drink, so I didn't have any, but Josh, <laughs> Josh had a glass of wine. Um, and then... Like, the whole interview was great. She just did a great job of asking us the right questions um, in terms of letting us sell the show, really. Like, because obviously, kind of why we're there is to promote the show and everything. And I just feel like, yeah, it, ju it just felt like she really was happy to have us on the show and, like, was kind of grateful that we went and stuff, which is crazy because obviously we're so grateful to be on the show. And something I'm really grateful for is the fact that I get to do all these, certainly for this show, um, that I get to do all of these press kind of things with Josh because not only is it amazing to just be able to share it with him because he's one of my best friends, but he is such a wealth of knowledge on the Blues Brothers, like... I feel like he could answer any question. Like, not that I don't want to answer questions and stuff, but I feel like there was n there's never a question that couldn't be answered if he's in the room because he just knows so much. So that's always great. So my big sister Jess got married in May and this is her wedding dress. And I think I'm going to try it on. I'm so excited. It's so beautiful, but just massive. Like, it's a proper big princess dress and I think she said that this is all um, handmade Italian lace and it is just so so beautiful okay I've got it on it's pretty big <laughs> and the boobs are definitely <laughs> So nice. Definitely yeah. too big. You look so nice. It's so heavy. It's because it's got like a huge corset and everything in it. Yeah, like it definitely sucks you in. I don't think I wanted a poofy one, but it's really fun to try one on. No, I think it looks so nice. I couldn't really imagine you in, you in one before. Really? But it looks so pretty. Are you ready? Here comes the bride. <laughs> Careful, don't fall. Can you imagine? How do you actually walk in this? <laughs> All the stuff! <laughs> no. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's oh, oh. tool. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, no worries. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it turns around. It's really nice. It's like a glove. It does, doesn't it? Oh my god, it actually does. <laughs> I thought it was a big one. You've got my boobs. No, it, it is. Look, I can get my hands like, right down there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jenny's. Oh he's, he's such a good bridesmaid. Is the box still available? I'm very keen. Oh, Sophie! Oh my god. I do like all of my cats. It is so nice. Oh, Sophie! You look like a Disney princess. <laughs> Sophie, that looks stunning. Thank you. Oh, could you not wear it? Hello. Oh, it's lovely. not my favourite dress. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, Sophie, it's beautiful. This is how you know you're at my house. There is just so many cups of tea and brownies and strawberries and apple crumble and sponge cake. What are these, Mum? They are little creme brulees. Mmm. They're a bit eggy. Custard. Let's not be silly. What a beautiful day. So, now that it is a bit later, and thankfully the sun has relented a bit, there's a bit more of a breeze, I've actually decided to come and have class outside. So, um, because I need to just keep on top of this and keep learning, uh, we have a huge week next week and actually a lot of the first couple of days is gonna be like tech stuff. So um, we're not gonna get a ton of actual chance to do loads of rehearsals, so I need to make sure that it's all in my head. Um, and there's some harmonies that are just escaping me no matter how much I don't know if anyone else gets this for anything that you have to like obviously theatre is like a direct um, relevant thing so if you do like theatre um, but even if you're just like revising something or learning something that you have to like have in your head I learn and learn and learn and I feel like it will never ever go in like I feel like it doesn't matter how much I look at it how much I listen to it, it is literally never gonna stay in my head and then all of a sudden it's there look at this script it's just got like random scribblings all over it obviously that means that uh this is no longer in it but like just like <laughs> i'm sure that this would just look like the biggest mess to most people but luckily i sort of know what i mean sort of i will definitely come across things and be like what <laughs> but yeah so more learning look how big my hair is that's pretty impressive <laughs> We've been watching Father of the Bride. It's one of my favourite films, both the first and second one. Um, they're the ones with Steve Martin, if you know them. <laughs> but I'm going to head to bed. I just had a really nice night with my family. It was so fun trying that dress on. Um, yeah, just crazy. just felt really weird to have it on, but it's so heavy. I definitely don't want one that's that heavy. <laughs> but thank you for watching and... I'll see you all very soon. <laughs> Bye! So I am just about to go to bed. Um, I'm gonna have another early night because rehearsals tomorrow, but I did want to just take a moment to say that James, my brother-in-law, uh, has just sent me a picture of Soph in Jess's wedding dress. Now I'm sure you'll have all seen this, but it literally took my breath away. I just, I honestly don't know how I got so lucky. And this is gonna sound really cheesy and really, but like, I need to appreciate how beautiful my wife-to-be is. I just feel incredibly lucky and I don't, obviously, as you can probably tell, I don't really have words for it, but I wanted to try and take a moment to appreciate that. So, uh, so yeah, she's just beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, I'm pretty tired because I've been up since quite early for me this morning. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having an amazing day while you're watching this. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we both love you so much. So have a great one. We will see you in the next one. 